This is the Lumar Delta 10 kilo anchor that came with Impavidus when she was delivered new in 2015. It's neither use nor ornament. This is the Manson Supreme, a 35 pound anchor that we bought five years ago. It's performed pretty well compared with the Lumar. But we've changed anchor recently. So what anchor did we choose? Well, let's tell you what we didn't choose and the reasons we didn't fit that particular anchor. These are just our opinions. Firstly, there was the Rockner Vulcan. Impavidus has a plumb bell and the shape of the Rockner Vulcan prevents us from fitting it without doing major changes to the roller. Then there was the spade anchor. Now that would have fitted, however, We'd seen posts about people losing the galvanising off the tip very quickly and, despite its holding power, we decided not to go with that. Then there's the same spade but in stainless steel. But boy, are they expensive. And of course cost is something you've got to evaluate for yourself. The other thing is that both these anchors are bolted together so that you can take them apart and store them in a locker or lazarette. And the bolt is in shear, so it's very strong, but we didn't want a bolted anchor. And the same applies to the Viking. It's a bolt-together solution, and it has a hoop. And we've already had experience of a hoop anchor getting in the way of our cruising chute, and other stuff at the front of the boat. So what did we go for? Well, the other consideration, of course, is the money. Yeah, it's always about the money. Follow the money. So one consideration is that one pound is currently worth 12.3 Turkish Lira. So one dollar is about 960, or thereabouts. Now that's a great exchange rate if you're in Turkey. So um, here's a demonstration of uh, why we went for the Ultra. So there's uh, three different anchors here. There's... Uh, a plow type like a, a Lumar, Mantis. a Mantis, and then the Ultra. And we'll just show you in this sand um, what the difference is. We'll start start with the uh, that one. That's a Lumar Delta shape. So, like these here, well, David's going to yank the chain, as they say. Got over on its side. And you're now pulling your boat backwards, pulling the chain backwards. And that's why it's called a plow. So we'll give it the benefit of the doubt and turn it almost the right way up. And watch what happens. It is starting to dig, but look how long that's. Two, three three and a half times the anchor's own width. So then a Mantis, the Mantis has got good, much heavier. much heavier and good tip weight. So same thing, we'll pull that in. You've dropped your anchor, you start to come backwards now. And see how quick the Mantis pivots round and starts to dig and that's half its length. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's length before it bites in. And then, of course, it just disappears under the sand, which is what the mantis does. And now the ultra. So the ultra's in, down, tipped over. Here it goes, immediately starting, to, isn't even in its own length. It's down, it's in, and there we are, buried in its own length. 
there was the mantis, and there was the plough. And the other, the other thing was that with the Ultra, if you look at the actual pulling weight, as you start to pull this, and I'm just pulling that with thumb and forefinger, and it started to dig in, and that's hard for me to pull now. That, that, I, I can't pull that up. And you compare that to the Mantis, Same again, thumb and forefinger, and that's starting to get hard to pull. So it just shows you how different they are. Let's give the Lumar a head start, the Delta. Oh, well, that's just easy to pull, really easy. It's starting to bite now, but it's ploughing. It's ploughing, that's why it's called a plough anchor. So there you go, that's why we made the decision to go for an Ultra. Um, the other one we looked at was the, was the Spade, but in the, uh, in the tests and the reports that we got, um, people were saying that they preferred the Ultra over, over the Spade. Guess what I've found? Uh, wow. Stainless steel ultras, and I've got my bucket. <laughs> oh, and my captain's hat. Perfect. <laughs> um, everything with the blue label in here is 21% off. So that's about nine, what's that, 10.05? Yeah, it's about 900 and 900 pounds, 980 pounds. Don't you cut that. I don't want to scratch it. So the big reveal, what have we bought? An Ultra, 21 kilogram stainless steel anchor with a hollow shank. Um, why have we bought this? Um, we've had two incidences where we've not been able to set the anchor. The, the first one was um, at Porto Pala, where we had rocks and we couldn't get the couldn't get the anchor to set. We eventually got it to set, but it pulled up a big weed ball. And then the other day, where were we? I can't remember where we were. Methony. No, it was on the island, Butterfly Island. We had seven attempts at trying to get the uh, Manson Supreme to bite in, and eventually, on the eighth attempt, we moved round to another bay. Um, it wouldn't bite through the it wouldn't bite through the, the small pebbles and rocks on the bottom. Um, just not enough tip weight. So that technology on the Manson Supreme is 15 years old and uh, this isn't so we're going to give this a try we paid full price for this not a sponsored video we paid full price for this we bought the swivel that goes with it the manson flips uh, sorry the uh, ultra flip swivel um, the only difference is that here in turkey it was half the price that it was in the rest of europe and we got a 21 percent discount because it was a blue blue label day Blue label day. <laughs> blue label day. So everything with a blue label in the marine shop was uh, minus 21%. So basically the VAT tax, purchase tax. So we're going to go and take the old one off and make sure this one's fit. I did make a cardboard template and it appears to fit, but you never know. Right. It was never coming off there, was it? <laughs> Huh. It's not going anywhere, is it? So, um, I locked tight it in and then I pinged the... You pinged the other end? Yeah. Oh, well, it's not going to come out, is it? Probably not. <coughs> no. Blue Loctite and um, 
just peeling the ends of those over. No way those shackles will come undone. I've had to use the bolt croppers to cut the actual chain off. So that's a um, testament to uh, blue Loctite. Now I'm just going to, before I put the shackle on, test the size. Test the size. Tension on there because I'm not going to let it yeah. go. That looks okay. Okay, if you lock that what's off, the, what's the distance? Oh, well, we'll check that. Lock that off there, yeah? yeah. Okay. So, this is their flip swivel. Just a couple of details that you've got to do. Let's make sure that that bolt aligns in there and that this ring goes on the top. Come on. <laughs> like that. And then, some Loctite. Oh look, you even got Allen keys. Oh, Allen keys. <laughs> yeah, I saw the two Allen keys in the box. That's good. And then there's an M8 socket head countersunk. That's it. And then that goes in there. This one's the same, only a tad smaller. Well, there's only both sides other keys. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Stainless ones as well. Yeah, that would be right. But with those that are done with the Allen keys, of course, you've got no way to um, uh, put some almost and wire in, have you? So that's why they've sent you the Loctite, I think. Yeah. Now this one, if you read the instructions. Yeah. You must make sure that these flat sides are up and down yep. and that the rounded side faces back and forward. So this must be shaped. Up. Yeah, it's shaped. Yeah, I've got one of those on the Mantis. So a little bar like that. Go. Yes. Uh, so how long does it take to cure? Um, well, it depends on the heat. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. But it's anaerobic, is it? So it's air, yeah. air cured. Yeah, it, 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 um, it absorbs air. Yeah. Brilliant. So now we just... It's still tied on with it. Of course. There you go. The yeah. other one. It certainly looks as though it's perfect. That. We just have to make sure when we put it down. And all the twist in your chain will come out over time, won't it? Yeah. Well, that, the, the flip swivel. If the chain, if the anchor's round the wrong way, <coughs> that yeah. swivel flips it. Yeah, and so we'll bring it up. <laughs> look at that. That fits better than the yeah. other one. Oh, 
Oh, my God.